In this video, I'll be showing you how to deploy company portal using Microsoft Intune Admin Center. You know, from the company portal, you can actually deploy software to your client devices where the user would have the opportunity to actually install that apps on his own using the company portal. And also from the company portal, you just can have some other information concerning their devices and even collect, send information to the IT help desk through the company portal. So what we want to do right now to deploy the company portal is to go to apps. And then from apps, you want to actually select Windows. Then we're going to click add and then select the Microsoft Store app new. And then click select. Here we want to actually search the Microsoft Store app for our app we want to deploy. For example, I want to go for the company portal and just hit enter and here we go. So we can select that. So for now, you can see most of the information have been filled in for us. What I need to do right now is to make this a business. And then here is stored behavior. I can actually use the user and then show this as a featured in the uh, featured as a featured app in the company portal. I don't really need to because it probably maybe the company portal is not yet installed on that device. So I just need to click next. And by clicking next, we can select the group we want to install this on and then I can now click client. So the advantage of using the, the uh, Microsoft Intune to deploy it is if, for example, a specific, a specific user have used the Microsoft Store to download the app and that app was installed, it will automatically be installed on that user's device without the user doing anything or installing it manually. So let's just wait for this to get installed and you can see right now it said, it said zero. So we can actually fasten the process by going to uh, devices and then try to sync the installation process we just did right now. So by going to sync, all the policies will be applied on that device. We can also do the same for the second device as well. So I can just decide to sync and the policy will be applied to that device. And mind you, sometimes it may take some time for the policy to be applied. So just be patient. And even if users started complaining that we've not seen the company portal, tell them that probably the next day, the portal, the company portal will be available on their device. So after some time, what we can actually do is we can decide to go back again to our devices. Let me just go back again to our device. And for example, if I pick this first device, we can actually check if under the manage apps to check if the apps company portal have been installed. You can see it says installed. So we can actually check the process. You can see it says app complication created and the agent is installed. So we can also go to our device and verify that device. That's a C001 here. You can see the C001. So if I go to my start menu here, you can see the company portal have just been installed on that device. So here we can actually try to see, um, probably we need to log on or it's, will it actually try to use a single sign on to log on to the company portal for the, for, for the first time. And then here we go, you can see it's trying to configure all the policies that has been applied to this device. And you can see that the company policy, the portal have just got started without any issue. So at this moment, you can see the company portal is working very well without any issue. That is our device. We can also check the download and update to see, you can see that the company portal was actually installed. And also we don't have any apps present at the moment. So that's just, that is how you install and distribute the company portal to your device. So if I uninstall this company portal from this device manually, it will still be installed the next time users restart his device.